Welcome to the Business Behind the Scene podcast with Francesca Moy, where we talk all about real business problems, real solutions, and getting actual results in business. Hello and welcome to episode number 25 of this amazing podcast. I mean, it's my podcast, but I really like it. I'm really enjoying spending time with you every week. And chatting of where my business is at, what are we doing? So let me say this has been a crazy, crazy couple of months with everything that was going on in the world. A lot of people are giving up on their businesses. I see that. I see that every day. I see that in everything that happens. And what fascinates me is that people give up on their business. But the thing is, the only people that are surviving throughout this coronavirus is people that have a business. Only people that have a choice, they have a chance to survive at this, like what I'm saying, survive is economic, like, you know, financially, um, is people that have an option to create their own wealth. And yet, so many people think and have the illusion that having a business is um, worse and less secure than having a job. Like, guess what? It's the opposite. Having a job is what you have no choice. If your boss decides that, there's coronavirus and I'm not going to fight for my business, then you lose a job. And so um, that is something I go, wow, it's so fascinating. I don't cope well with looking people struggling and not doing anything about it. Some people choose to stay in victim. Some people choose to just be and wait and wait until everything goes back to normal. But guess what? nothing's going to go back to normal what is normal anyway and why would you wait when you can create your own wealth you can create your own everything and so today i wanted to talk to all of you about why do businesses fail in the first year uh, a lot of people they think oh yeah let's start a business and they underestimate what they can do in 10 years and overestimate what they can achieve in one year and they're thinking oh all i need to do is this to replace my job but they don't understand that the first year of business most likely if you cover your cost you are lucky right if you're not in um if you're in profit it's a miracle and if you cover your cost you're lucky most likely you should have spent and invest more money than what you actually made that is the reality a lot of people don't invest enough in the first year and it's just assume and think that they know it all and they don't need to learn anything new and they not understand that the business is actually a 3d printout of their thoughts so they're not working on their mindset they're just waiting for a miracle to happen they don't grow the following, they just go blind and they don't really work on getting themselves known. They just want to have a business but be invisible and they waste a lot of money in advertising too early in the business when they haven't spent enough time nurturing their followers, creating that relationship with people. And this is what I've seen the people do the first year of the business um, because it just, it's just incredible how many people underestimate what they can do in 10 years and overestimate what they can achieve in one year. They expect results yesterday, uh, not even now, like yesterday. They're like, what's going on? I've done these three things and I haven't got my $2 million business yet. <laughs> And it's like, wait, you know, you, you got to expect profit in the first year of the business. It's not how it's going to be, right? The profit's going to come as your business grows in the next few years. But the first year of your business, most likely you're not going to get profit. They're not realizing what can happen with doing small tasks every day. The, the compound effect will be huge when you start to do things now that you might not see the results straight away. Um, it's like, you know, if you have a farm and you start to plant seeds, you're not gonna see the seeds growing the day after. You're gonna have to water them and water them day after day and day after day and day after day without seeing any results whatsoever until magically one day after months, then you're gonna start to see your seeds becoming flowers or becoming plants or trees so the compound effect is that trust that fa faith of going i'm gonna do this knowing that if i do it consistently for long enough i am gonna get results the thing is that people don't cannot back themselves right they go i don't know i'm gonna have that 
be that patient for that long i think i'm gonna give up along the way therefore i'm afraid of investing i'm afraid of spending time i'm afraid of not having a result the first year and that is gonna make me give up they're not patient they're not patient enough to be able to see the result they're not patient enough and consistent enough to create that momentum and they're waiting for confidence to come where confidence will come as the years will go by so such a fine line and between confidence and courage and people waiting for confident confidence and it never comes this starts from courage it's a choice they don't invest in the business they, because they think that they can just do it all alone. I'll just do it all alone. I'll be fine. I don't need anybody. I'm just doing all these free courses out there. I just invest $5 here and then $20 there and I'm $100 in this online course. And those are things that are not going to give you the blueprint that you need to take your business to the next level. They are afraid of taking risks. They go, oh my God, like I'm terrified of taking risks when they don't understand that you've been taking risks every single day of your life. There is people out there that have rented a house that they cannot afford, <laughs> like pretty much everybody, right? Because the thing is, people want to join a, a course or a program and they say, I don't have the money. And my question is, wait, did you have the money to pay rent for the whole year? If you didn't, then why did you sign a contract on a rent? Because you know that you have to live somewhere, so you make that a must. You find the money to pay the rent. So people are not willing to back themselves in the business as much as they do in everything else, right? They do take risks every day, but they don't see it. They don't see it as a risk, they see it as a must. So why don't you do that in business? Why you stop being too cautious? too cautious about like you know what if it doesn't work but what if it does living in fear in business is not going to help you to take your business to the next level it's going to help you to give up and go back to a job a lot of people start a business because so they can have a lifestyle and they're expecting security there's no such a thing as security but the thing is there's no such a thing security in a job or security in a relationship or security in a rental <laughs> there's no such a thing as security in any of these places but the thing is that we expect so much security from a business that definitely is not going to be able to give it to us people think that whatever is going on they don't they don't realize that whatever's going on in the brain will manifest as a reality they think that this is woo-woo stuff, right? But the thing is, I do, I have created a, this quote that your business is a 3D printout of your thoughts because I've seen so many clients. I could tell if someone was successful just by talking to them, just by talking to them about their fears, about the risk they were willing to take because your their business was a 3D printout of what was going on in their heads. Growing their minds will grow the business, but people are not willing to do that really understanding that you know working on their mindset to be able to take the business to the next level because at the end of the day business is a spiritual journey you will have ups you will have downs <laughs> you will have ups and downs in the same day in the same hours but if you're not willing to fail forward if you're not willing to just fail you're not willing to jump you're not willing to do it how are you going to stand out in business how are you going to make it you got to be willing to stand back up over and over and over and over again because that is the only way we're going to make it in business when you truly believe that you nothing can stop you. Believe that you are going to achieve everything you wanted. Business is so much fun when you just go for it. You go, right, how are we going get to get, reach that goal this month? Let's go, let's do it. The only thing that's stopping a business owner from achieving their goals is their limiting beliefs that they're holding them back. That's the only thing that is stopping someone from having a successful business. People, no, they don't grow their following because they think that it's a waste of time and they'd rather spend the time and money in building a website where they have no traffic going through whatsoever. If you have no traffic, means you have no following, means you have no leads, means you're not going to get seen. Especially if your business is like about coaching or you're an expert and you're teaching something or, you know, any of those businesses, you need 
to be seen. You need people to want to find you and want to search for you. There's no point to just have a website. I have done things so different from our many uh, courses and, and, and you know business courses and business uh, university teach you because I've seen that people needed to trust me. People buy from people that they trust and just having a fancy website doesn't cut it. You can have the biggest and most amazing, most flawless website, but if you have no traffic going through it, what is the point? So we need to give, build that trust and really um, start to build an audience because if you don't have enough audience, you're not going to be able to have people through your funnel. People try to sell way too early. They haven't even given enough value or consistency for people to go, wow, I need to buy from you. They sell to their friends, their family, all the people around them and they have the illusion that, oh my God, my business is so easy. It's easy because those people know you. It's easy because those people have trusted you. You need to warm your leads. You need to go through people that don't know you and build that relationship with them. People wait way too much until everything is perfect before they take a step forward. Just put yourself out there on social media. Don't wait until everything is perfect. Build a following, build a momentum, build a community so that people want more from you. And stop wasting time in advertising. This is something a lot of my clients do. They just assume that they just start to put money in advertising and poof, the business is going to explode. If the, you don't have an audience, you don't have following, there's no need for you to advertise yet. All you want to do is to first organically grow your following, get people to follow you, get people to know you, get people to engage with you, and then you're going to be able to do it. Too many people try to compare themselves with people that are super successful. And if, if you compare yourself with me right now, right, I've got a $2 million business, we're going towards the $3 million. we have really worked so hard to get myself and my brand up there, then now you see me going, oh, Francesca's got a podcast, Francesca's got this, Francesca's got that, Francesca runs event with 70 people, I want to run event with 70 people, but wait, Francesca runs event for 70 people now, and she started running event with five people, two people, one person, so don't compare yourself with where people are at now, because you haven't seen what they've done first, I love what I do, because I teach people what I have done when they are, not where, where I'm now, there's no point for me to teach you what I do now because I've got a budget of five to ten thousand dollars a month in Facebook advertising. If you don't have that, how are you gonna be able to do it? You need to have a big enough budget for you to go and get any results on social media on advertising. So if you don't have that budget, then you need to find a way to do it organically. A lot of people go into the business pages and they play with the pockies, right? They they just do five dollars boost. $10 boost a day here and there, which gets you no result whatsoever. They might get lucky once, like you would do at the pockies, but you're not going to get long-term strategy to get your business. I love what I do because I love seeing my clients, really my business exploding because I have, I know what people do. I know how people follow me. I know what they watch. And so that's what I keep doing over and over and over again. So start organic following and communities will get your business to be seen and it will get you to survive throughout the tough times. So now that it's like social media is exploding and, and obviously the COVID um, didn't help and everybody's putting money on advertising, Facebook advertising is going really bad. And so if I didn't have my organic strategies or get people to watch me and follow me, I wouldn't be able to get the 200 people at SVP into my events. The reason why we're getting that many people at SVP is because I have done the work. I have done the work for years to come. And so I really would like you guys to have a look of what you have been doing in your business that might not get you to achieve the success that you deserve. Everybody can survive the first few years of business, but not many people have that resilience to go and admit and be okay or not having a profit the first year. But the thing is, like, I even look at that and I go, right, wait a second. I started my business at 31 and I'm now, well, 32, and I'm now 30 seven still for a month and I'm like wait I've done all this much I've got a business from zero to a two million dollar business in five years 
what am I going to do another five years? What's going to happen in five years time, right? Where is this business going to go to? How much more people, how many more people I'm going to impact? How many, how many more followers am I going to have in five more years? A lot of people are waiting to get like that million dollar business in a second. It's like, wait, what if, what if it takes you five years to get a million dollar business? Would you be excited? Would you be happy? So then slow down and go faster. I used to hate when people used to tell me that slow down. I was like, what? What are you telling to slow down? I don't go slow. But guess what? And I'll see what that, what that means. I now see that I've got a $2 million business. My goal in five years is to have a $10 million business. How am I going to do that? I've got a plan. But if I said to myself, I'm going to have a million dollar, a $10 million business next year, that's going to give me some anxiety. It's going to make me feel like it's not going to be possible. And then therefore, I'm not going to believe in it, which means it's not going to happen. So really look at the long term of where you want to be in five years, how you want your business to run your business in five years and really, really work towards that. But the other thing is people do that <laughs> way too early. So as soon as they start the business, they go like, in 10 years time, I don't want to do any one-on-one, so I'm not doing one-on-ones now. No, but wait. Doing one-on-one clients and doing sessions one-on-one at the beginning of your business is going to build a foundation for you eventually to get out of doing one-on-one session. I don't do one-on-one session anymore except for my abundant circle clients, which are clients that spend over $30,000 with me in a year. And those are the people that I do spend time one-on-one. But the thing is, I don't do that for anybody else. And I'm okay. I actually love those one-on-ones with my, those clients because they are people that are action takers, not excuse makers. So you tell them what to do. They go and do it. They get results. And you're like, yay, one session with me, $10,000 in the bank account. Love it. And that is what type of results I like for my clients. So you guys work on the mindset around wanting to have everything now rather than waiting and have a plan and know that every year you can double, triple your your business easily if you stay consistent if you do the things that nobody wants to do if you think about the long-term strategy rather than the short-term strategy to get results now this is gonna get you nowhere okay my friend i hope you enjoyed today and i look forward to see you next week thank you for listening love you all If you enjoyed listening to this podcast then you have to come check out the entrepreneur's abundance mindset mastermind it's my monthly mastermind where you get to spend time with me where we take all this material we apply it we study it and so we can take your business to a whole new level so just go to the francesca moy the meetup queen facebook business page and then just send me a message and you'll be able to choose the option eam mastermind I would love to have you join me there and I'll see you next week.